feel like I should put I'm not dressed properly. One second. <sighs> this is better. So if you have seen the title, we're gonna be talking about Starbase and their insane lineup. So when I say that my jaw dropped, I'm not being dramatic in any sense of the word. And what made my jaw drop, you ask? Alice in Wonderland was the first name I saw. And I literally was like, I pretend this is yesterday. And I like, that's exactly what I did. If you're a Slander fan, plan on attending Starbase or just want to talk about Starbase, let's get into it. So yesterday, Slander dropped Starbase lineup. The festival is taking place in Charleston, South Carolina, October's 8th, October's, October 8th and 9th of this year. They announced this festival, they announced that it was happening, I think at sunset, sunset, and then like shortly after they announced everything and they just released the lineup. Tickets are on sale, so if that's something that you're interested, definitely go check that out. But I will pop it up over here so we can go through it. This is a big lineup and I'm not going to speak to everyone on this lineup because I don't know everyone in full transparency. It's That's the case for most lineups, at least for me. At the top, Alice of Wonderland and Slander. Like I said, Alice of Wonderland is a person I did not expect to see on this lineup, but it honestly makes so much sense. Like so much sense. Um, and then obviously Slander. Underneath that we have Big Gigantic and Nightmare. So Big G is so good you it's uh it's like your live music edm you got your saxophone you have drums you have guitar i think there's piano that door just popped open it's fucking creepy there we go so anyways <laughs> big gigantic um if you like grizz you'll probably like big g i saw them at dance fest and they were the sunday headliner and like literally there is no better way to close out a festival than with a big g set like i had my inflatable couch thing. I straight chillin', man. It was awesome. Nightmare. He's in my top three, one of my favorite DJs of all time. He throws down so hard. Like when people tell me they don't like Nightmare, it's it's triggering. I'm gonna be fully transparent with you, it's triggering. <laughs> he is so good. His energy is unreal. Ugh, man. And then when you put him with slander, it's like chef's kiss. Underneath that we have San Holo and Subtronics. I've never seen San Holo, but I've heard his sets are super, super good. He's got such a light, bright energy about him. I like his music. I've just never seen him live. And I think he's been on a couple live streams. I might be making that up. But Subtronics, the man, the myth, the legend, we all know. We've talked about him on this channel before. That will be absolutely insane. I get to see him at Dance Fest this year, and I cannot wait. So, like I said, the rest of these, I'm just going to go through like the big hitters, the ones that I'm familiar with, and want to see, stuff like that. So, first is Arm & Hammer. I think that's how I'm saying that. If I'm not saying it right, please correct me because I'm gonna feel stupid. But I've heard, I think they're like very melodic, kind of feelsy. I would definitely give them a chance. I've never seen them before and I don't listen to their music a whole lot, but I hear a lot about them. AU5, he's gonna be at Dance Fest again more. Literally, I was just gonna say more melodic dubstep. Like, this is literally a melodic dubstep festival. Like, anyways, AU5 has some music with Slander and I would love to see him live. Blank, I can't remember what virtual festival or whatever it might be last year. I think it was Brownies and Lemonade, like big virtual festival. I'd never really heard of Blank. I think he has a couple songs with Zed's Dead and like, that's the only time I've really heard of him and he was like in between two people that I wanted to see. So I just like, you know, stayed and watched. And he blew my mind. I was like, where the fuck has this guy been? So absolutely, I would see him without a doubt. Dabin, if you're into melodic, Elenium, Said the Sky, that type of music, Dabin's gonna be right up your alley. I've never seen him either, but I know he's a very, very talented musician, so I can only imagine what that would be like live. Next is Dylan Matthew. If you know the song First Time by Slander and Seven Lions, I think he does the vocals and Love is Gone. He does a lot of vocals for Slander and his vocals are just absolutely unreal. So I had plans to go to the I tour in Minneapolis and it literally, like World War III, AKA the Panorama hit the Friday before that show. And it literally got canceled like four days beforehand. And the thing that I was most excited about was seeing Dylan Matthew like play the piano and like having that dynamic on stage and sing live for these songs. That was the part that I was most excited about. So that would be really, really awesome to see that at a festival. Next is Jason Ross. He's on Ophelia Records, I'm pretty sure, but he has some great, great music. Every song that I know of his, I really, really enjoy. So I would love to see a set by him. Sorry, there was just a bug and I thought it was on the inside of my house, but it's on the outside. No worries. JVNA, I don't know if that's how you say that either, so again, please correct me, but we love the fact that there's another female on this lineup, so applause. 
company. I saw a company before Nightmare at the Portal Tour, February 2020, right before the Panorama. Uh, company throws down, so hell fucking yeah. Next is Riot. Yo, Riot has some really, really good songs. Let me see if I can find, I'm gonna play it really quick. Hopefully I don't get it copyrighted. If you've listened to Nightmare or listened to Slander, you've probably heard that song played throughout their set. The energy of that song, like, look at me right now. So I would love to, like, see that live. The next big one on here is Slander, Back to Back, Set the Sky. If you want to cry, go to that set. Next is Sudden Death. This one was a little... Okay, so I... Maybe I'm wrong here. I was under the impression that it was going to be, like, melodic dubstep, and that's it. But I mean, we have Murata, we have Midnight Tea, we have Sudden Death. So I think that might be incorrect. I mean, even like Nightmare, Big G, Subtronic, Sound Hollow, they're like, they're not melodic dubstep. So I guess it would just be maybe a dubstep festival, but not Lost Land Space Canyon dubstep. So that makes sense. So yeah, Sudden Death is on this lineup. You guys have heard me talk about Sudden Death before. Next is Trivecta. Again, I think he's on Ophelia too. And I love anyone who's on Ophelia. So that would be something that I would definitely recommend. Wave Dash just came out with a new album. I saw them before Nightmare as well on the Portal Tour. They, I feel like, are truly one to watch. They have a very unique sound. I think it's three guys, which I just think is cool, like kind of like Black Tiger Sex Machine, like three guys just out here doing what they love and throwing down and like making really, really good music. Next is William Black. He does have songs with Slander. He has songs with Seven Lions. Again, one of those melodic artists that just like kind of gets you in your feels and makes you want to cry a little bit. And last but not least on this lineup is Wooly. I absolutely fucking love Wooly. Point blank. No questions asked. Unfortunately, I will not be going to this festival. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Again, I cannot, I can't fathom camping someplace that I can't drive. Okay, I can drive to Charleston, South Carolina. Let's all be real here, but I'm gonna look up how long it would take for me to get here. It would take me 19 hours to get to Charleston, 19 hours. So that's a very, very long way to drive for a two-day festival. And like, I don't know how people fly to Electric Forest and camp. Like I can't wrap my head around that. It just seems very anxiety inducing to me. Like I wanna go to Okeechobee so bad, especially because it's four days. I think it's four days, maybe three. It's a longer festival so I can justify like getting there, stuff like that. But how am I gonna bring all my shit? Like there's a lot of stuff that you need to bring when you're camping because there's a lot of things that you need to be prepared for, right? Like you need to prepare for all types of weather, rain, storms, wind. You know, you have to be prepared for everything. And like, I feel like I can't just pick up everything that I need at Walmart and then be like, I'm just gonna leave this at the campsite or donate it. I don't know. I mean, if you guys have experience with that, like, let me know how you handle it because I, like I said, I want to go to these festivals. I just like, I can't even wrap my head around it. So I just like shoot it out. If you have plans to go to Starbase, please let me know. I would absolutely love to hear how this goes for you. Um, that weekend, I will be at Red Rock seeing Elenium for the first time. I cannot wait. So we got a relatively short video, but yeah, if you guys are going to Starbase, let me know. I'm fucking stoked for you. That's going to be so awesome. Slander is such a good group, such good guys. I honestly respect them so much. So yeah, more lineup reviews coming as they drop because holy shit. Literally, I'm gonna post my Instagram story here. These festival lineups really, they gotta chill. I can't handle this shit. Hijinx, Allison, Grizz, Excision, Elenium. Fuck. I guess I have New Year's plans now, baby. <laughs> We are, like literally every day I'm just like getting on Instagram and I'm like, oh, there's another fire lineup. Oh, there's another fire lineup. Your girl's working nine to five. She doesn't have that much vacation time. You know what I'm saying? I've rambled on way too long. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.